Hi, and welcome back to Literacy Volunteers of Laredo's Holiday Camp 2020. We want to say thank you to the Dollar General Literacy Fund and Laredo College for allowing us the opportunity to bring you these videos every week. This week, I'm going to show you guys how to make a gift box out of something as simple as cardstock. Okay, so there are a few items that you're going to need to have with you. First off, you're going to need to have some cardstock. And um, today, if you only have a few sheets, that's fine. Or you could probably even get through this with um, your computer paper if you just want to kind of get the hang of it before you invest in getting some cardstock. But you can use any color you want. I just happen to have some white. Okay, now this is what we are going for. We are going to create these little gift boxes that look like this. So I have some wrapping paper and you can choose any kind of wrapping paper you want. Now, if you don't have any wrapping paper, don't worry. You can have a, a simple plain white box as well. Okay, you can make a simple little box just like this too. And then of course, decorate the exterior all you want to. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of time, so let's get started. Before I actually start cutting into my box and shaping it though, I like to create myself like a little measuring guard. So I can make sure that all of the sides of my boxes are the same. So I don't have to do any kind of trimming later. Okay, and it'll make sense as I go. So you want to take and get yourself one of your card stocks right away, and you're going to need a ruler. Okay, so you're going to have cardstock, a ruler, a pencil, glue stick, scissors, and your choice of wrapping paper. Now, I'm going to measure off one and a half inch. Okay, and you can do this a uh, long way or short way. It doesn't matter as far as like the orientation of your paper. Okay, but I usually will make out two little dashes on my paper and then draw the line from dash to dash, just like so. Okay, and so I'll bring this a little closer so you can see what I just did. Okay, and then from that line, I'm going to create a two and a half inch. So I'm gonna move on over and create my two and a half inch. So I made two little dots and then all I need to do is line up the dots. Okay, again, that will create that nice straight edge I need to cut along. Okay, just like that. Okay, and that's exactly what I'm going to do is cut these out. And I've already done that. So again, just to save some time. But if you need to stop the video, of course, you, you certainly uh, can do that. All right, so I have my, my two strips right here. Now why this is important will be in just a few minutes, okay? Now once I've decided what my uh, box is going to look like, if I want to use a particular type of uh, wrapping paper, I went ahead and cut it off of the roll. Okay, I went ahead and cut it off. Okay, so, because I don't really have a whole lot of room to show you guys on my, my desk with um, uh, the big roll of paper, but like I said, it's just a simple roll and I went ahead and made it a little bit larger than my cardstock. So we are going to take this. and glue it down, okay? So, because I have purple glue, you guys will be able to see this a little bit better. So I wanna make sure that I get all of that edge glued on there. So I want this to really be a nice decorative box. So I don't want any of that wrapping paper to come off. So I'm taking it all the way to the edge. And then I'm also going to make sure I have enough there in the center. And like I said, because I got purple blue, you guys can see it a little bit better on the video. Okay. And then I will glue down to our paper. 
curve. And if it's not perfectly straight, don't worry. It won't matter. But that looks pretty good to me. Just take the ruler and smack it down a little bit. That's kind of nice. Then, as you can see, I, I have all of this on the... Uh, outside of that cardstock, but I'm going to actually fold that over and glue it down as well. So with that said, let's do that really quick. And you can see it's, it's not perfectly straight, but that's okay. Just as long as I have enough to, to glue it down. It can be a little crooked, it doesn't matter. I know I'm going a little bit fast, but then I'm just going to fold that over, fold this side over, and then I still want to add a little bit of glue on this part too, just to make sure that that even lays down. I mean, I've already put some glue all along this edge, it's starting to dry a little bit, but make sure that I really get this stuck to the base of our uh, cardstock. Okay. All right, so here we are, you guys. This is what it should look like. Okay, mine says ho, ho, ho. Okay, I know it's reflective, so let's see if I can turn it so you can see it better. Okay, and you can see that side doesn't really matter that much. It really doesn't. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now this is where uh, these strips are going to be important for us. What we're going to do is line it up just like so, all along this, the edge of it. Okay, and we're going to draw a line here. We're gonna line that up on the edge right there. Draw a line right there. And just do that all the way around. Like I said, it may take you a little bit of time, but this will save you time in the long run, I promise. And everything will look all nice and neat and you won't have any trimming that you have to do. All right, so all in place this is also going to show me where I need to cut so that's why I'm saying it's very important that we we have these all kind of measured the same way right so everything is equal height and it's just one of those little tips and tricks I like to show Okay, so then it may look something like this. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this line along here and I'm going to cut and cut and then do the same thing on this side. I'm going to cut and cut. But I'm only going up to that one line. The minute I see that other line happen, I'm going to stop. And I'll show you what I mean by that. To be fairly straight with it. Okay, so this is what I did right there. Okay, and then I stopped where that line is. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Same thing. Okay, now. Once I've got these cut, I now have to do some folding because once you get it cut, it's easier to fold it actually. So, I mean, you could fold it first, but you know, you'll have to kind of struggle a little bit with it if you do that. But if you're already cut along the line, it just kind of naturally goes with the fold and you can uh, fold it much easier. 
Okay, so I already have that side done like that. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on these as well. So everything is just getting folded right now. I have my glue handy. It's right there. But you could do this with tape too, I suppose. Um, this part anyway, you could do with tape. But I've also got to fold this edge up as well too. I mean, even though they're cut, okay, you still need to fold everything that you see there. So everything should be folded nice and neat. Actually, I'm going to pull that in just a little bit. There we go. Just like that. Okay, now this is the easy part, you guys. All right. The next step is simply just gluing, okay, right here and right here right here and right here. So I'm actually going to do this. Maybe this will help show you guys how to glue that. Okay, these side, uh, side areas right here. Okay, it's gonna have glue here and here, here and here. So let's go ahead and do that. And, um, you can do this with hot glue, I suppose, if you're, if you are comfortable using a hot glue gun. Um, if you're not, then, you know, the old fashioned glue works just fine too. Okay, so now I have all my glue there. And then it's just simply a matter of bringing up the sides. Okay, we're going to bring the sides up like so. Just like that. And you're going to see this, this little flap. And that little flap is just going to set right there. So already we've got one edge done. See? And so this other side over here is still kind of a hot mess, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take those two little side wings and then fold that up. And then look, now you have your box. And the fact that it's all the same height. Right, so you don't have to trim anything off here or off over here, but um, I'm going to press that down a little bit. I really like the um, the surface to create the pressure right here and right here. Now, what I notice is that sometimes glue, um, even if it's in the glue stick, sometimes um, it doesn't stick. Um, as easy and it could be because your glue is a little bit old or maybe it's a little bit dried out okay so you may have to hold it in place a little bit you could probably even use like a little piece of tape to hold it if you don't want to hold it you know very uh, long but so now we have the base okay now we've got to create our lid <sighs> before we put on paper this time we've got to be able to get a lid that's going to match the size of the container that we just made okay because this one's a little wet I'm just gonna leave it to the side for a moment okay I'm gonna take my other cardstock and I'm gonna lay this basically in the middle I'm gonna kind of eyeball it okay and then I'm gonna trace it okay so we're not done with our pencil I'm going to trace that box all the way around. I'm just going to trace that. So it looks kind of like a frame, really. Okay, can you see that? All right. Then our next step, we're going to take the one and a half inch. And our one and a half inch is actually going to get lined up with these lines that we created like that and then I'm going to draw this direction okay I saw my camera went a little out of focus on you so let me do this for you and then hold it up all I'm doing is laying this little guard next to the lines that we just drew 
the square on the inside. Because we're going to be creating the lid, but we want to make sure that the lid fits, right? But we don't necessarily need it to be as large as the, the um, cardstock that we had before. So that's basically what I've done. Now I'm going to cut all of this off. I'm going to cut all that off because I don't need it. And once I get this part cut off, then I can glue down the Christmas paper. You know, it's kind of boring watching somebody cut stuff out, right? Yeah, this is pretty important, you guys. Plus, it'll give you guys a little bit of time to work if I'm also taking a little bit of time to um, demonstrate for you. Okay, so now I've got something that looks like this. All right, now I can glue it down. So I have my other paper right here. And I'm going to put all my glue across it. Now this is the back side. This isn't the part that I actually drew on. This is the back side. Okay, I put it on the back side. I didn't put it on this side. It's on the back. And then I'm going to lay this down onto my paper. Now, it may be a little bit too big, so I'm going to go ahead and just trim some of this off. I don't have to, but I think it's just a little bit too big for the box that I made. So I'll just trim that in a little bit. Over here, yeah, I'll just trim that off a little bit too. Because it's got a, a grid already on the paper for me, so I can just cut along the grid. You know, it doesn't have to be perfectly on the grid, but it kind of gives me an idea. You know, just make it a little bit more uh, custom fitted for this cardstock. Okay, so you can see right there. And then we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. We are going to glue all of this uh, paper. We're just going to go ahead and wrap it around. Just wrap it on around. Wrap it. We had a big chunk of glue there. I really like that big chunk of glue. It's going to mess up my fold. I just kind of wiped it. We'll press it too. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. And fold it. And fold. Now, this is pretty small that I can really line up my scissors, or yeah, my scissors with the lines that are here. And I'm going to stop right there at that corner. So I don't have to worry about drawing out the line if I can see it already. But if you want to continue that line just so you can keep it straight. There's nothing wrong with doing that either. Okay. Let's 
sure that's lined up pretty good. Yeah. About right there. And then, of course, that means I'm going to fold this as well. Exactly like what we did previously. That's all we're doing. We're doing the exact same process. And this is going to be our lid. Okay. So we are almost at our 20 minutes. We may already be at our 20 minutes. So we work just a little bit quicker. Okay, I'm going to get that glued and get this one glued. The little side wings, right? And then when I fold that up, okay, which I, I probably should have already folded that, but it's okay. It'll be forgiving. It'll be somewhat forgiving. I'm kind of rushing it now. Okay. Then I can glue that into place. Bring the little folds in and press. And I like to have the folds on the inside, but if you put your folds on the outside, that's okay too. It's no big deal. Okay. And now here's the test. We're gonna take our lid that we created and we're going to see if it fits on our box. And let's find out if it does. Yes, it does, you guys. So now we have our own little gift box that we created. See, and it looks so nice and neat. Okay, so thank you, you guys, for joining me. And I hope to see you guys again next week, next Saturday at 1030. And we'll continue on with our Holiday Camp 2020. Bye, guys.